the folks who watched the lunar eclipse with me. So this is me behind the scenes. This is my observatory here. And this is the telescope and this is the mount that I used to take the pictures. Let me tell you behind the scenes story how I got here. Hey folks. So the observatory is almost ready from outside. We got the paint, we got the roof, we fixed the ramp. Ramp, when we first built it, it was like too much of a hill. So we made it a little bit flat so that we can move things around. I'll show you guys inside quickly. Come with me. So walk with me into the observatory. It's going to be one of those interesting times. So this is the ramp that takes you into the into the observatory. And that's the roof on the top. And that roof slides this side. So I have to push that roof manually. So that's like one door on the right side and this is the double door on the outside. And once you come in here, so this pretty much takes you inside. You can lock it once you come inside. As you can see, it is not completely finished yet. So this is my view to look at my telescopes. And I'll show you from the telescope side. So that's like, you can call it control room or you can call it office room. It's not completely built. It's pretty much ready from operational standpoint, uh, but nothing fancy yet. So that's the computer and I got a desktop. This is going to be the main control to the telescope there. For now, the telescope is still on the wheels. Maybe at some point of time, I would go get a peer, but I'm taking it slow because I'm learning as I go. So. I just don't want to freeze my options. So once you come inside, you can turn on the computer. And there is this thing here on the top, a door that I have to open. And so this is going to cover the gap between the roof and the walls. There are also couple of uh, latches that's going to lock on both sides of the roof. Uh, currently they are just open. I was playing around, but generally they are locked inside. So let me open the door. So this one here is a small wall, like extended wall. This is between the roof and the wall below that. So generally this is closed, so I have to open it. So now the roof is open. We have to do this because the roof is going to move 
and there is a gap between the wall and the roof, so they've got to be covered somehow. If you do like the observatory and if you have some comments, please do let me know. It is going to take a while. It is going to be a work in process. I don't know how long really it takes, but I think the main purpose of observatory is done. I have a home for the telescope and the mount and I don't need to move it back and forth. And I will have chance to test whatever I need to complete uh, much faster. I think that's what the advantage is. It is, an, it is a complex endeavor, it's not easy. I think there are cheaper ways to get around it. Uh, but I think this one, I had a feeling in my head that this is the way I wanted the observatory should look like and I, got, I was stuck to it. I couldn't go back from my original design to any other design. I, I think probably a sky shed mount probably would have been much faster, cheaper. Uh, but this one, let's see how it goes. I think uh, this is a unique look to it by itself. So please feel free to comment. 